Do you want a better APT? Well, you should be using Aptitude for everything. Upgrading, updating, installing new packages, searching for new packages, and just figuring out dependencies. If you're in dependency hell or ever have been, you know this pain of APT and tracking these things down. Not fun. Well, then comes Aptitude. It's far better than APT. The big thing with Aptitude, one, it gives you clarity around dependencies and also conflicts. These are two big sticking points that I'm about to go over. And then also it gives a nice heads up display, lets you know what's being installed and it beautifies much of the output where APT just kind of gets jumbled together. So Aptitude itself, a lot of people don't realize it is not a whole heck of a lot of different from APT and most people think it's almost the same program. It's not, Aptitude is the ultimate package manager and that's what I'm going over today. Now with that said, I also did a write up on my website, christitis.com. I'll put the link down below. It will have every single command I go over today with a breakdown of what each one does. I also put a bunch of samples and examples that I have done using search because search is a very complex thing. There's wildcards, how to actually find things and you can literally do an hour class just on aptitude search. But in this video, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit all those highlights and you're gonna learn how to do dependencies and resolve conflicts and also search and find holds and unhold products as well. So let's just say products, crap, packages is what I mean. And that's what we're gonna do starting now. Okay, to start out with, we're gonna install aptitude in using our terminal. So um, we're just gonna do apt install aptitude and task SEL. The task SEL is just a task selection for its built-in menu. Not really necessary as I don't particularly care for the menu option or the actual GUI per se. So we'll go ahead, install this, and then we can launch into the aptitude, just kind of see what the menu looks like. The neat thing about this, especially if you're a new user and you want to install new desktop environments, there's actually in the task menu, from an end user perspective, you can actually pick out what you want to use out of this. So I can easily choose, let's say XFCE, probably one of my favorites and pick this and kind of say hey where is this along do I have anything installed and I go oh wow I'm missing a ton of stuff and you can actually kind of see all the things you're missing out of this desktop environment so very cool and this is a good utility when you have like let's say KDE is broken or something of that nature you can see what packages you are missing out of this so from here just hit Q to go back and then you can kind of tinker around in here I don't particularly like this aspect of aptitude it's just nice for a heads-up display when you need it as far as the actual install commands it's almost identical to apt the only big things are is there's some shortcut keys you can add on to the end of it so let's say sudo aptitude install gedit so this is just a basic install of gedit i already have gedit installed but let's say i wanted to remove gedit i can actually hit the minus sign and it would go through and remove gedit likewise if i wanted to purge gedit i can use an underscore after this one and this would actually go ahead and purge gedit from my system now this is also kind of cool because it does beautify a lot of the output that it presents and kind of gives you a very great display of what all it's removing. As you see, it's gonna remove, the major thing here is it would remove GNOME, uh, which is a full on desktop environment that I often use or switch over to, to test things out and do different things and also probably other dependencies that are required by that specific package. So I know, hey, it's not worth uninstalling gedit here because it's going to rip all this out. So I'm going to just going to hit Q or N for no, um, and it'll abandon the efforts and quit. So that is pretty awesome. So that's installing, removing, and purging all in aptitude. And let's go over updating and upgrading in, in aptitude. So this is a good one. If you do a sudo aptitude update, very much the same as apt here nothing crazy 
Uh, again, the output might look a little different just because it cleans some things up, but otherwise identical to APT update. Um, now upgrade is different. It has two different versions of upgrade. It has a safe upgrade where it won't purge anything not used. So if I do sudo aptitude safe upgrade, it would go ahead and install and upgrade any packages that I have and then not remove any unused packages. Now let's say I didn't want those unused packages anymore. You can do what's called a full upgrade and it will go ahead and purge all those packages on your system. Now, as you see, my system's completely up to date. I personally prefer to always do a safe upgrade just because I don't really care if there's an extra 200 or 300 megs just chilling on my system, taking up space. However, if it does become an issue and I have just a ton of stuff, I might go ahead and push through a full upgrade just so I don't have all that excess bloat. Another thing that I kind of want to touch on, let's say you need to hold a package and don't want it to upgrade any longer. Aptitude's really good for this as well. Uh, in APT, it's pinning and it's kind of complex to pin packages to that version. In Aptitude, they make this far easier. So let's say I wanted to hold gedit at its specific version because I like that version. I can actually just say, hey, aptitude hold gedit. And then if gedit had a new version come out, it would stick on the version gedit's on right now. And likewise to unhold it or unpin it, if you were using APT, you would just do unhold gedit and this would unhold it. Now there's also another command called keep. I don't recommend using this command just because a lot of people think keep actually keeps that version. It doesn't, all it does is basically clear out any pending tasks. And then the next time you run an update upgrade, it's gonna go ahead and push through that version where if it was held or held down, by a hold, it would not, it would stick on that version. So very important to understand the differences. So I'm not even gonna show the keep command just because I don't ever use it. So let's go over search real fast and aptitude. Aptitude, you can do a lot of different searches. Like let's say we just do a simple search. You can do aptitude search much like APT and type G edit and you can do wildcards and other things in here. It'll pull in all the G edits that are currently sitting in your repositories or your cache. So before doing a search, I always recommend doing an update just so you have the most recent cache available. So you can see right here, it pulled in all these have G edit and then package name and it pulled those in, which is very cool. Now, let's say I wanted to know, hey, what is installed that is G edit? You can do a search as well, except in this time in front of it, you just put a tilde and then an I. And this will say, hey, what's installed that's G edit? It says all these are installed on my system with G edit. Now, I do want to go over the actual letters on the left hand side. I's install and then if you see a B or an H that means broken for B or half installed for H, both those are very bad things and you should immediately remove that plugin or try and reinstall it so it gets fully installed so it no longer has that designation of a B or an H instead of the A or not having the actual letter designation is okay as well. So in that same vein, let's check a check of what broken packages I have on my system. You can easily do this, and it's always just kind of good to do this for maintenance as well. Uh, aptitude search and tilde B for broken. And this is just gonna look through for any broken packages. I don't have any. Um, other good things is in uh, tilde A hold. This kind of shows you every package that's currently sitting on hold. Right now I have C laying on hold. So let's say I didn't want that on hold. We'll just go using our earlier command, unhold C lang. And that should go ahead and unhold that. And if we do another search, we shouldn't see anything in there, which we don't. So very cool. So the next thing I wanted to show is what a package is. Let's say I don't know what version the package is. I can always do an aptitude 
show gedit. It'll actually show me all the details of that specific version. I could go, hey, it's 3.3. Is it automatically installed? Where'd it come from? You can see what package maintainer, all the different things and its dependencies and what is recommended by it. So there's a ton of stuff here and very, very good information. Um, show is something you absolutely have to remember to use when you have issues with a specific package. Now, let's say you didn't want to use show because there's just way too much information here and you wanted to see why or what missing package it was couldn't install, you know, gedit for whatever reason. You can just do a sudo aptitude why gedit why did this not install what is it depending on what am i missing so the big thing here is what is missing with a why so if you have conflicts though and it fails you need to use why not so why not you have conflicts and it'll show you what can conflict with it Really, the only thing that conflicts with gedit is the 32-bit version of gedit. Now, the last thing I wanted to kind of go over is clean and auto clean. Um, if you do sudo aptitude clean, this right here clears out the cache completely. It has no regard. It goes ahead and it, it will need to be rebuilt now. So to rebuild the cache, you just do an update and it will rebuild the cache. Now, let's say you didn't want to rebuild that cache and go down and re-download all this stuff like it's doing right now, and you just wanted to blow out the old stuff that's just no longer valid. Well, that's pretty easy to do. Instead of using a clean, you'd want to use an auto clean. So let's do sudo aptitude auto clean. And that's it. So um, as we see, in the time I've been doing this, a couple new packages got popped in here and to kind of check those out, um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the heads up display one more time and just see what popped in. And it's just this right here. And you kind of see it gives you a good breakdown of what package it is, what does it do, those types of things. Very, very powerful stuff. And you can do all your research in here and figure out what's going on or if this package is going to break things, if it's going to replace things. That's one really good benefit of this. So we're just going to hit Q and get out right now. I don't want to go ahead and do this update that's just been released. And that was Aptitude. I hope you guys really like this. And if you're still using APT after this, just stop. Just get Aptitude. Learn it. Live it. Love it. It's awesome. And with that said, if you like this video, consider visiting me on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one.